I'm going to show you how to create custom button images for any command in layout coming up. Hey, I'm Matt from mastersketchup.com, author of SketchUp to Layout, as well as the co-author of SketchUp and Layout for Architecture. I've always wondered why we don't have a default button for inserting SketchUp models into layout. You always have to go to file and insert in order to insert a model. So check this out. I have a custom button that links right to the insert command. And I'm gonna show you exactly how to do this. Now, unfortunately, this is a Windows only feature. Mac doesn't have the same capability, but here we go. So most people know that you can customize the toolbar by right clicking in the toolbar area and clicking customize. Now with this customize window open, if you go into the commands tab, you can see all these different commands that are just native commands in layout. And so you can select any of these commands and just click and drag and place it directly into a toolbar. Now you can't just drop it anywhere. You can't just place it in this toolbar area. It actually has to be attached to a toolbar. So you'll see the little black line that appears when you try to drop a command into it. Now, not every command has an image. So when you insert it into a toolbar, you just get the text name of the command. Now I'm gonna show you how to assign a custom image to that button. So what a lot of people don't realize is when you have this customized window open, you can actually manipulate all of these buttons. So you can click and drag uh, to rearrange buttons and you can also right click on them and you access this context menu. Now this is how you add an image. So by default, when you add a command that doesn't have an image, it will show text only. So if you switch it to default style, you'll see this um, error image that shows in its place because it doesn't have an image assigned to it. If you right click it again, now you can either uh, paste an image that you already have on your clipboard or you can click the edit button image to get this crazy like hidden image editor just built in to layout. So you could technically build your own image just using all these tools um, in layout. But what I did is I created an image ahead of time so I can just go to file, open, and then I can select the image that I created. So that places it right in there. And then you just have to close this. There's no save command. So you just close that out and then it'll just ask if you want to save the changes, click yes. And there you go. You have a custom button image for any command in layout. So then you just wanna close the customized window and you're all set. Now, a couple tips when you're doing this, make sure that you include transparency in the image you create. Because if you look closely, when you hover over a button in layout, there's actually a small drop shadow that appears. And if you include transparency around the icon that you've created, you'll get that nice drop shadow look as well. And these custom buttons will blend right in with the native uh, buttons included in layout. So that's it. If you enjoyed this video, please hit like and subscribe, and I will see you on the next video.